sometimes to do other things. Extraction. I have not seen this film since it came out in 2020. I decided to revisit this film uh, because I, I wanted to give it a fresh rewatch before I watched Extraction 2, which is the newest film that just came out on Netflix, and I wanted to talk about it as well. Uh, this, If you're not familiar with these Extraction films, uh, both of them were directed by Sam Hargrave, who was a stunt coordinator for many years, uh, worked a lot with the Russo brothers, and he was, I'd like to say, Chris Evans' stunt double in a lot of the Marvel films, uh, particularly in Avengers Endgame. So now that uh, the Russo brothers have moved on from the MCU, Sam Hargrave decided to direct uh, some action movies of his own. In fact, Joe Russo of the Russo brothers, and I think the Russo brothers in general, uh, produced this film. And one of the Russo brothers, I think it was Joe, wrote the screenplay for this movie. And we got these extraction movies, which are very well received on Netflix. And this is the second time I have seen this movie. Like I said, I've seen this film once before when it first came out in 2020 during the COVID pandemic when I had nothing better to do. And how, how is this movie? Well, let's read the synopsis. Tyler Rake, a fearless mercenary who offers his services on the black market, embarks on a dangerous mission when he is hired to rescue the kidnapped son of a Mumbai crime lord. So this movie, it to me, it's one of two, one of two halves. The one half of this movie, the action sequences in Extraction are awesome. Uh, I love Sam Hargrave's style of directing in this movie. And the action is very relentless. I love how uh, practical it is. Everything is on location. I love the stunt work in these movies. And there's just so much that I appreciate when watching this movie especially with the action sequences. There's this incredible one-take shot midway into the movie where you see Chris Hemsworth and the kid he's protecting. They're in the car and people are shooting. So much craziness goes on. And then they go out of the car and then they're up in the building and Chris Hemsworth's fighting on stairwells and then he's on the rooftops. And it's like a good 10, 15-minute action sequence. And it's just nonstop adrenaline. And the fact that it's made to look like it was shot in one take just adds to the overall intensity of the film uh there's also a great third act shootout on a bridge which has a lot of great excitement to it uh the shootouts and uh the uh, the the the, diff, the the thread of whether these characters are going to make it out all right or not uh there's just a, a lot of great excitement with these action sequences and i appreciate what sam hargrave was doing on a practical level Chris Hemsworth is a really enjoyable lead. Uh, I do enjoy his character in uh, this movie. Uh, the mission he goes on, I think on the surface, is exciting. He's protecting his kid from some evil men. And there's a little bit of emotion with that. Uh, the little bit of character development we get into this movie where we find out a little bit more of the Tyler character and that you know he had a son at one point, but his son died of cancer and he feels he's feels a little bit remorseful over that because he wished he could do a little bit more. Uh, there's a little bit of vulnerability in his performance, and I appreciate what Chris Simsworth is able to provide. But the action in this movie is absolutely incredible. What holds us back, though, the story is nothing that remarkable. Uh, it's a tried and true story. We've seen it time and time again. We get this. Uh, we got your big action guy who goes in, protects a, protects somebody, protects a kid, and will stop at nothing to protect the kid at all costs. Uh, that's pretty much about it. This movie doesn't really do anything new with that, and it can come off as a bit generic because of it. And, uh, with Extraction, it's like, I love the action in this movie, and the reason why I enjoy the film is because the action is so good, and Chris Hemsworth is such a uh, charismatic lead and I enjoy him in this movie but the story around the action is not really that memorable and that's the biggest issue I have with this movie and likewise the villain in this movie is not really that exciting in any way I just think he's a 
boring one note villain who doesn't really add much to the table. And I think that's a big problem as well. But as a whole, I, I, I still give extraction a recommend mainly because of how good the action is. Uh, there's so many great, there's some great action scenes in this movie, uh, especially the made that look like one take sequence, which I think is really good. Uh, really good cameo from David Harbour as well. And that sequence I thought was well done. Uh, there, the story itself is a bit one note. And if you don't like the movie because of the story, I definitely get that. But I think there's enough with the action and Chris Hemsworth performance that puts this a little bit above average. And at the end of the day, I gave the film a three and a half out of five on Letterbox and a 68 out of 100 on my 100 point scale.